So what exactly is trussing a bird? Well, it's tying it up or tucking in the body parts so that they stay close to the rest of the body. This is important because the thinner parts, like the legs and thighs and the wings, can overcook or even burn before the breast and the rest of the cavity is even done. So come on in and we're going to take a look at how to truss. If you look at your chicken, you're going to see these two extra skin flaps right down here by the legs, by the cavity. Take a knife and cut a small little slit going right through. Now keep this slit to the center of this patch of skin. You don't want to go much further than that. And it's totally okay to use your fingers to widen the hole. But you should be able to stick your finger through. And do this on both sides of the bird. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to match up the bottom of the leg and the flap on the opposite side together and tuck the leg into the flap. Just like so. And you're going to do it again on the other side. This is going to hold the legs in place close to the body. Now the last part of the bird we need to worry about trussing are the wings. You can kind of see now that they're super loose, they can come across. Grab the wing by the tip, twist it away from you, and fold the tip behind the bird. And you can look at it from the back side. Now, if I move this wing around, it doesn't move too far away from the body. So once again, if you watch the other one, you can watch from the back. I grab the tip in the front, I twist it, and I hook it behind. And there you go. That's how to truss a bird without butcher's twine. If you do have butcher's twine at home and you want to tie your bird up, feel free to. But you don't need to. Now we're going to put this bird into the roasting pan and get it cooking. It's going to be so delicious.